Our voices. Our stories. Our community. It takes drive, creativity, and hard work to start your own business. It takes a person fueled by entrepreneurial spirit. Business owners can be found in big cities or small towns. They can be from all walks of life. In rural Saskatchewan and Manitoba, entrepreneurs with disabilities are being discovered through a unique video contest. These business owners produce short films that help launch them on the road to entrepreneurial success. In the next half hour, we'll speak to the organizers of the contest, see clips from the award-winning videos, and speak directly to the entrepreneurs from the disability community who, when people questioned whether they could start their own business, said, just watch me. Taylor Layton, the owner of Taylor's Construction Pickup. I couldn't find a job, so I decided to make my own. 2017 was an amazing year for our son Chance. He started his very first business, Leave It to Chance. My name is Chance Tony. I'm the boss of Leave It to Chance. That's my business. Hi, this is Jamie. I'm back this year and excited to be in the Just Watch Me contest as a seasoned entrepreneur. My business is Sweet Crete Decor. Starting a business, uh, there's been a lot of ups and downs. I would say mostly ups, but it's been at times downs when people don't really kind of see your vision when you're first starting the business. I love being my own boss and of course I love the arts. I've been painting for about 35 years and done all sorts of arts and crafts. I added a ceramic studio. Thanks for tuning in to the Just Watch Me documentary. The story of how a video contest is igniting entrepreneurship in the Manitoba and Saskatchewan disability community. Right now we're at the Manitoba Legislative Building in Winnipeg, Manitoba. I'm Susan Bader. I'm the Entrepreneurs with Disabilities Program Manager for Community Futures Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Our organization, Community Futures, we help anybody that's interested in starting or expanding a business if their business is going to be located in a rural community. In Manitoba, that means outside of the city of Winnipeg and Saskatchewan, that's outside of Regina or Saskatoon. My job in particular, I help anybody that self-identifies with a disability or health condition. There's many reasons that entrepreneurship is a good fit for persons with disabilities. Due to their health conditions, they may need to have a variety of appointments that they need to see specialists. And so having to be able to create their own work hours is essential. They also, due to their disability, may need to have times when they can rest. They may have good days and bad days. And as a self-employed person, they can choose to create their own work hours. The unemployment rate for people with disabilities in Canada is extremely high. We have a lot of highly educated people that can't find jobs. And so self-employment gives some of those folks who are entrepreneurial minded another option. The Just Watch Me video contest is a contest that allows entrepreneurs with disabilities in rural communities in Manitoba and Saskatchewan to showcase what they do best. They create a short video talking about how they started their business, why they're successful, talking about some of their challenges and hurdles and what success means to them. And then they enter that video into the contest. We have two categories, startup and seasoned. The startups for anybody that's been in business less than a year and the seasons for anybody that's been in business over a year and sometimes it can be more than five, 10 or 25 years. My name is Chris Golay. I'm owner and president of Wi-Fi Country Incorporated. I launched Wi-Fi Country in 2005 as a wireless internet service provider to serve rural Manitoba. We serve communities that do not have access to traditional high-speed internet through DSL, cable, or otherwise. We currently operate six sites, broadcasting at up to 130 feet. We serve an area of about 500 square kilometers, and our towers are things like water towers, grain elevators, and freestanding structures. Chris was our very first winner of the Just Watch Me video contest. Chris has many, many businesses. He entered a video and he talked about his business. Chris has vision loss, but he climbs up poles to set up broadband for small communities. He really entered the contest, not necessarily for his own glory, but to really showcase that entrepreneurs with disabilities or health conditions can do anything. 
Chris Gollin is legally blind, but that doesn't stop him from his entrepreneurial mission, regularly scaling to the top of radio towers to connect people to the internet. Being an entrepreneur in general, running a business, obviously it's a lot of work and uh, doing so with a disability, there's added complications. No HR department here to put my accommodations uh, in place, no occupational therapist to go and decide what kind of desks or uh, tools might be useful for me. But the flip side is I get to craft my own work environment. I get to decide exactly how I will have this space set up that works well for me, whether it comes down to lighting, to my mobility. Being at home, I don't have to worry about transporting myself to work. Uh, Winnipeg is a, is a driving city. Being legally blind, I can't drive, so I don't have to worry about commuting uh, back and forth to work. So there's nice benefits like that. Success to me is simple. If I'm making a decent salary that pays my bills and uh, allows my family to have a comfortable lifestyle, then certainly that, that's a, a good measure of success. Obviously, I want to run a business that, uh, that I can be proud of and that provides a service to our customers that uh, they want to, to purchase from us. I found out about the Just Watch Me video contest through our Chamber of Commerce, and I thought it was a great opportunity, not necessarily to showcase my business, but to showcase the things that were possible for people with disabilities. And I thought it was a great opportunity to tell the world in general about what I do, but specifically people with disabilities as well, giving them some, not inspiration, but a little piece of what might be possible for them that they could look outside of, of the box of standard employment. Hi, my name is Michelle Weirda and I'm the owner of Curves in Gimli, Manitoba. And we are a facility that is specially designed for women to give them a complete workout that is fun, fast and safe. And we also help women set their goals and help them achieve whatever health goals that they want to and help them inspire them. I really enjoy being my own boss because I get to set my own hours and um, create my schedule in my day that really works well for me. My name is Lorena Mitchell. I'm the founder and president of Evolve Green. I chose to be an entrepreneur because I love the renewable energy sector and there really wasn't any jobs in what I do back when I started 10 years ago. It's amazing to follow your passion and in order to do that, basically, I started Evolve Green. Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. My name is Julie Mintanko and I am the former contest ambassador for the Just Watch Me video contest. We are at City Hall in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan on a beautiful sunny summer day in the middle of the city's downtown. My former job was a news anchor reporter and I covered a lot of stories about people with disabilities in the community, some of the issues that they dealt with the trials and triumphs, and really just tried to shine a light on the disability community. As someone who grew up with a mom with a disability, my mom would always say to me, she didn't see herself in the news. Where are the stories about me and the things that I cope with as a human being? And so I wanted to be more involved and find a way to incorporate that into my career. Something I've learned from living and working in Saskatchewan, um, particularly from the Saskatchewan Human Rights Commission, is that accessibility really is a human right. And a lot of places around our communities, they are not accessible when they should be. And so it's really about allowing someone to be human and to live their lives and to be able to be a part of the workforce and contribute to the economy. And if we don't have accessibility on all levels, then how can they do that? They really do have a human right to that, just like the rest of us do, to live a good life. This is Peanut. This is one of the first miniature horses that I, I got on my farm. I think uh, being an entrepreneur has always been a part of me, but after a head injury about four years ago, uh, it really started to evolve from there. Because at that time, I actually uh, suffered a lot of symptoms from this head injury where I had a lot of limitations on what I couldn't do. So after being with these little guys for about two years during my recovery, I learned a lot about, about not looking at my limitations and being able to look at my strengths as well. These horses taught me a lot about healing, which I really want to share with other people. 
Lucy Foss runs Little Steps Wellness. It's a farm where she works with young people on animal assisted therapy. Lucy was in the contest and got amazing votes. She has amazing spirit and everybody rallied around her. I got to be at her prize ceremony and she invited the community. Everybody that had touched Lucy's life over the course of entrepreneurship was on hand, including all the little wild animals <laughs> that were there, part of her farm. It was an amazing day and Lucy just thanked the community again and again for their support. My name is Lucy Fuess. I run Little Steps Miniatures and Wellness Farm. It's where I do animal assisted counselling with kids and teens. The Just Watch Me video contest is a contest for people who have a disability and have started their own business. It's an incredible contest. I loved it. It really showed me how much support was around me and, and how many people were kind of behind me cheering me on. So that was really amazing. Some of the benefits for entering the Just Watch Me video contest were getting publicity so so basically getting people to kind of see what I do I ended up winning first place which was super exciting there was like some pretty incredible prizes which was just awesome in being able to get the word out about little steps our startup entrepreneurs go through a panel of business professionals, a winners chosen in both provinces, Manitoba and Saskatchewan. Our seasoned entrepreneurs are also screened through the panel. They've all had scores created. And then the top four entrepreneurs between the two provinces move on to public voting. Public voting is about 10 days and we ask everybody to come and vote. We get a huge response from all over the world and all top four get prizes, but the top prize goes to the person that's received the most votes. I win my first most I've been. And I can't put all the recycling in it. Like um copper grass copper grass paper plastic newspaper. Every week they put their outside every Mondays and I Come and after for them, I take it all back and I sort it all. So many entrepreneurs have been in the contest and all amazing stories. One of the pivotal stories was Taylor Layton with her recycling pickup. Taylor is in Outlook, Saskatchewan. She entered her video actually fairly late into the contest, but she made that deadline. When we saw the video, it just went viral. People loved it. Taylor told the story of how in a rural community, they don't have recycling pickup. So she got some dollars to put some bins out at the end of people's drive ways and people put their recycling in and then Taylor sorted that and made some dollars off of it. Her story was so heartwarming. The whole province of Saskatchewan rallied behind her when it came time for voting and her story not only touched Saskatoon and Saskatchewan, her story went national. Hi, I'm Taylor Layton. I'm 25 years old. My business is called Taylor's Recycling Pickup. I have this business. I love to I love, I love recycle. I have a job that is important to the community. I am very good at my job and I love it. My name is Eloise Layton and I am Taylor's mom. And we're here today in our backyard in Outlook, Saskatchewan. In the pretty flowers. Amongst our pretty flowers. Um, just to let you know how things have been going since the video contest. Entrepreneurship is the best fit for someone like Taylor because she can work at her own pace, which is very important. She can... Oh, I might have to think a minute on this. Don't cry, Mommy. I'm not good crying. It's just, it was very difficult to to find something that she could have that purpose with because nobody was hiring. A lot of jobs that are available, but she just couldn't keep up with. So this worked out great because, and, and my job is amazing because I can take every Monday off and help her and be there with her. So that's really important because of course she can never do this 
totally all by herself. She's, you know, she doesn't have a driver's license. So she's always gonna need someone to drive her. But the recycling part, she's got down pat. In the very beginning, we counted a lot on family and friends. We went to our friends and of course, they were happy to support Taylor. We kind of expected it to stay there. Maybe the odd person in town would, would catch on. It's turned into a, a pretty lucrative business for her. Taylor Layton's story of why being an entrepreneur is a good fit for her made waves across her community and further afield. Her passionate video has energized the disability community across Canada, helped her grow her company, and inspired countless others to consider a small business as a viable employment option. The video contest changed everything. It made everybody aware what we were doing, and not just people in Outlook, although that's where we got a lot of customers throughout that contest, definitely. But other people were voting as well from all over Canada. Uh, it was pretty great. During the voting process, I was nervous. Taylor was way ahead and that was exciting. We were so caught up in it and I was just worried that she would be disappointed, but we won. Big. <laughs> After the contest, there was the rewards were given here in town, a lot of different rewards. She won the $1,000 grand prize for the contest. We met Marsha Coda, who at that time was with Leah <laughs> Sophia, because of Taylor's comment that she liked jewelry. She was given all this jewelry, and we were invited to Toronto to their annual conference. Um, she was given her trailer from Flamin' Trailers, uh, which has been amazing really really helped the business the town of outlook the depot offered to let us sort there we were sorting outside rain or snow or minus 40 so now we sort inside uh, right at the depot which is amazing so it, it just it snowballed it just snowballed it was so exciting i love one of my businesses because it's my job because i'm so loving it and i have a lot of trashmas I have a make happy family. Our community will return after the break. We now return to our community. Communities rally around each other. They create this incredible support network and rural is very, very good at that. People have watched people with disabilities or health conditions grow up They've interacted with them all their lives. And so when they're ready to take that leap, they've got a huge support network around them. Rostered Saskatchewan is about 40 minutes outside of Saskatoon. It's a small community with a lot of heart. In that community, we have many, many entrepreneurs with disabilities. Last two years, we've seen a huge influx of entrepreneurs with disabilities from that community enter the contest and really put Rostered on the map. We've met the entrepreneurs with disabilities and more and more of them are taking that leap because they're inspiring each other and a great support network for each other. My name is Lori Kobielko. I own Arts in the Alley Studio, which is an art studio in a bowling alley. Rostron is a great place to run a small business because the community support here is awesome. If I have a bad downtime with my Meniere's or I can't function, my ladies just step in and they'll help out. And I've had really awesome support from the whole community of Rostron. Running a small business works because I can shorten my hours if I have to, and I can just sit down and take a break if I need to. I know now what to do to level off my Meniere's, and it's just stop and take a break. And if, even if I have to lay down for, on a bench for a bit, people that walk in, they totally understand. They're good. It's really important that entrepreneurs with disabilities share their stories so other people with disabilities can move forward and not think that they can't do it and think that it's not possible. It's always possible. The Just Watch Me video contest was awesome. It gave me the opportunity to get the studio out there and to let people see that 
entrepreneurs with disabilities are doing well and to get it known that people are doing stuff and being in the communities and it promotes small town entrepreneurs, which is great. For someone wanting to enter the Just Watch Me video contest, I would say go for it. You've come this far, you've already become an entrepreneur. You obviously have these wonderful skills of passion and, and uh, being able to create a business. So go out there and show what you've done because it's something to be proud of. The great things that came out of the Just Watch Me video contest were connecting with other individuals in the community absolutely was, uh, was key. I continue to run into people that say, hey, I know you and uh, I've never met them before, but they've seen my video. Somehow it's made it through their social media network to reach them. And uh, it's, it's great to great starting point to find out how they came about and, and what impact it had on them. Uh, in terms of my business, the market that I'm in, it wasn't a, uh, a driver of new business to me, a new clientele, uh, but it, uh, it was certainly an opportunity for me uh, to showcase and share with the world. And so uh, it, it was uh, a great networking tool. I hope the Just Watch Me video contest encourages entrepreneurs with disabilities to try it. Not everyone is gonna succeed hugely and it's a struggle, but go for it. It's really, really worth it. It's so rewarding to have your own business. My advice for them is must be take it easy, relax, be cool, just to be happy and don't give up. Producer Steve Langston. Videographer Steve Langston and Derek McMeachin. Audio mix Steve Langston. Editors Derek McMeachin, Steve Langston. Manuel Grados Andrade. Integrated Describe Video Specialist Simone Cupid. Narrator Jim Van Horn. Regional Content Specialist Jim Crisco. Production Supervisor Janice Sevitelli. Director Production Karen I. Director Programming Brian Perdue. Vice President Programming and Production John Melville. President and CEO David Arrington. Copyright 2018 Accessible Media Inc.